Global Payment Plus, our online banking solution for companies. Keep track of all your payments with one simple application. EPIX-based order management is a key aspect in Global Payment Plus. This video shows you how to create, submit, approve and manage your orders. The dashboard is the first page you see when you log into Global Payment Plus. You'll find an overview of the current number of orders to be approved, orders submitted and orders with errors, allowing you to review and process orders quickly and easily. To create a new order, click on the icon New Payment Order that you'll find on each GPP page. A single click opens up the list of available types of payment, such as upload order, transfer or direct debit. First of all, let's show you how to create an upload order. After choosing the bank access and order type, you can upload a payment file from another program by selecting the respective file from your drive or by using drag and drop to pull the file into the upload window. Upload up to five files of one order type at the same time. When you've uploaded all files, proceed to the approval, capture the PhotoTan graphic displayed on your smartphone or the PhotoTan reader and approve the order. To manually create a transfer or direct debit, your first step is also a click on the new payment order icon. First choose the originator account, then fill all mandatory fields for the payment order. Optional fields are marked as such. GPP supports the order creation by offering suggestions for beneficiary details from saved contacts, templates or past orders. When all the order data has been provided, save the beneficiary as a contact or the entire payment record as a template for future entries. Add further payment records or apply the payment. Take a look at the summary for a final review and potential adjustment of the details. If you don't want to approve the order just yet, save it via the three-dot menu for later processing. If everything's correct, approve the order with a photo tan. Now that you've finished the process, you can create a new order or switch to the order history to check the status. The order history gives an overview of all orders sent to your bank in the last 60 days. Use the update icon to obtain the current order history status. The status display on the right hand side shows whether an order is awaiting signature on the bank server whether it has already been sent successfully to the booking systems for further processing, or whether the bank server was unable to accept the order. You find important details on the processing of your order, which you should always check, under Additional Information. The Open Orders overview shows you all the orders yet to be finally processed. Right at the top, you'll find Orders Awaiting Your Signature, that is, all orders which you can sign to approve or cancel. Orders expiring shortly are highlighted and displayed at the top of the list. To sign an order, select it and subsequently approve or cancel it via the menu bar opening up. You can also use the three-dot menu on the right-hand side or select several orders simultaneously and approve them together. The Submitted Orders section lists all orders which have not been completed but have already been signed by you. Orders with an incorrect EBIC status from the last 10 days are also displayed in a separate section where you can review them. Temporarily Saved Orders stores all those orders saved during creation and not yet signed. These orders can be called up if you wish to continue processing them. For further information on order management and individual order types, please refer to our online help, which you can access via the question mark in the navigation bar. Take a look at our Accounts and Statements Guided Tour to find out how to stay on top of things with GPP even if you've got a large number of accounts. Commerzbank